What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies and today we're bringing back the Jack Thunder kit for the Sidewinder. But good news is we're gonna have even more fun today because we're also gonna be rocking it with the Mags of Holding throughout, of our, throughout our run here. So as normal, we are gonna pop our perks and get things rolling. Might as well do our ammo mod as well. And of course, the Mag of Holding. I'm really interested to see how fun this thing is to use because if you guys are unfamiliar with the Jack Thunder kit, what it does essentially is make the Sidewinder into a little bit of an LMG, but the other element to it is that it also does kind of actually increase the rate of fire the longer you're actually shooting it. So I think we're going to head over to this. We need to kind of get around the map here. We're not in the best placement. So yeah, essentially we're going to be testing out the Jack Thunder kit today with the Mags of Holding and just kind of see how we do. Now it is interesting because they did kind of buff the tier three zone, or at least it seems like it in recent time. So it should be kind of a bit of a blast with the mags of holding. They haven't really done that too many times up to this point. I think we've only really done one video on the channel where we actually used the mags of holding. So here we are with another weapon. We definitely got to get some more ammo before we do anything too crazy. All right, we did get our first contract here. I got to make sure I get a couple ammo drops before we Go for this because I don't know what it's going to be like. And I forgot to go get ammo because I was racing other people to the contracts. It could be like that sometimes. It's been very competitive for the bounties in some of my more recent matches. And that's okay. I understand everybody has an agenda and we're all trying to do very similar things. It kind of happens in an open world map or open world experience. I am very interested to see how our weapon is going to do here. Now, the good news is... If you guys are interested in the loadout I am running in today's video, make sure you guys check the pinned comment down below. But I feel like this loadout is really solid because normally the recoil control for this weapon is pretty rough. Like it's actually kind of tough sometimes to control the recoil in a way to actually make it beneficial, especially with this specific attachment where it continually does shoot faster the longer we fire. Oh, I kind of ruined my, my chance. All right, let's cook in. We do have dead, uh, dead shot, so... Oh, this is kind of sick. I got to be honest. It does have a, a fire rate cap, so it doesn't infinitely shoot faster. But I got to say, that is still pretty cool. And it wasn't terrible as far as the recoil. So I think I found a, a pretty solid build here to be able to control that nicely. All right, on to our next contract. But we do need to go to rare. Boom. Magic. Okay, hopefully this next bounty will be a little easier to acquire. I guess we'll see and find one. Oh, nope. It's going to be a little further away. So I'm going to head over to that and I'll see y'all when I get there. All right, we got the Mangler on the coast. So we're going to go... Oh, that did not go as planned, but I guess we'll at least still make it most of the way to the shore here. I needed to get a full ammo. I am crazy for this. I keep forgetting to grab an ammo drop or any ammo. So I guess I'll have to just see what we can get from these zombies. All right, we did get a little bit. We're going to cook through this. What am I even worried about? Most of the time, I am worried about running out of ammo because some of the weapons, that's just the way it goes, but... I don't think I should be all that worried about it with this one. Throw that decoy. Everybody's going to get gathered up. Should give me more than enough time to get in front of him. Oh, yeah, this guy's gone. Once you hit max fire rate, it's crazy. Can't hit him. It's so hard to hit him in the head. Okay, we're good. If I'd have hit all headshots, we would have just disintegrated that guy. We were doing pretty good against the zombies. And if you, I mean, look at that. Insane. Fun. That is fun. I gotta be honest. I did not want to hit that. Um, let's see. Alright, now I gotta head over to the next one. We do need to go pack a punch level one. We'll do that real quick. Boom. Pack one it is. We got 700 rounds, so that's pretty good. As long as we continuously pick up ammo, I'm not really in fear of us running out. Alright, Mimic, where you at? We gotta, we're gonna terminate you. It's always weird. There's a weird bug that happens when you're using mags of holding where sometimes it looks like you're able to reload. Or at least your mag is separate. Oh, here you are. <laughs> well, that was fun. It didn't last long. <laughs> that was fun. All right, time to head into the tier two zone. I feel like this thing is going to be... I think it's going to be fairly good. Holy smokes, the tier two zone is popping right now. All right, I'm going to head up to this guy and see if I can get to it. Oh, we got a Disciple first shot. That's going to be interesting. I think it's the one we might struggle with the most, or we'll definitely struggle with it the most. I mean, I think it's the one we might actually struggle with. It's kind of what I meant to say. It's going to be really interesting 
it's cool though because I feel like the weapon does really well because it's not really anticipating you to have mags a holding, or at least I don't think that's the uh, idea they had when they created the aftermarket part. So by using this aftermarket part, I think we're kind of taking advantage of the fully souped up fire rate. I don't think this is going to go as well as normal because we don't have what you call it. We don't have we have the napalm burst. I could be wrong though. I had a small technical difficulty, so we're going we're going back now. We're ready to fight. It was an actual technical difficulty. There was an issue with uh, yeah, with, with with what we were doing recording, basically. Hard to explain, but we did have a technical issue. We're now back in action. Should be able to give it a real attempt. The cool thing too is if you keep picking up ammo. Come on, if I can get this zombie in front of me. We can continue picking up ammo. Holy. Where did all these zombies come from? This is ridiculous. We're actually doing pretty good. This is ridiculous. We haven't even stopped shooting. <laughs> Yo. This is the most fun weapon I've had so far. I mean, I haven't used a lot with mags of holding, but this is cool. Just because it's it's not something that would normally be super functional. Yeah, we we cooked. We cooked. We we still have plenty of ammo because so much ammo dropped. All right, cool. We got a quick revive and a, a diagram. All right, I got to go over to another bounty or find another contract. So let me start heading over to that direction. We'll see what we can make happen. That was the most difficult one. So maybe we skip to pack punch two. For the next one, just see how fast we do. All right, is it going to give us a second disciple? Nope, mangler. All right, we do need to go pack two. All right, so we're pack a punch level two, ready to take on this mangler. I'm hoping he's where it's marked because it kind of like disappeared for the most part. It just shows the blue ring on the on the map, so I'm hoping it's right. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, it's broke. All right, he's going to be gone before we know it. See ya. See you later, buddy. Oh, the zombies want the smoke. It is a little rough until it actually picks up speed, but once it actually is at full speed, it's pretty solid. And you can keep shooting it, obviously. So it'll be interesting to see once we're in the tier three zone how this thing does. And that's where we're actually going to be headed here in a second. All right, we're sneaking in. We need pack three. Boom, pack punch level three acquired. We need some perks too, actually, but we're a little further away from that. Where are those at? Over here. Um, could get up on this roof and probably f zip across and get a little bit of the distance. I will say the one negative to constantly filling up on ammo is that you end up not picking up decoys because you're not going to ammo depots to pick them up. That was one negative here. I needed to go up here or down below and get the, the ammo just to, yeah, basically have the ability to get our perks here because we needed the decoys. Okay, this thing is, I mean, it does pretty good once it gets full speed, but... Obviously up to that, it's it's a it's a pack three blue. Pack three blue is the way it be. Alright, we're gonna go over here and get our perks finally, and then we can actually test something out here. We could do a mega bomb first. I don't know what it's gonna be like for contracts. There is a contract, so I might actually have luck. I don't feel like this weapon would be strong enough to do the storm collar, but we could attempt. Because I did say that before, that the storm collar wouldn't be doable with certain gun, and it still ended up being doable even in the tier three zone. Might as well buy them all, right? Might as well. Every perk we could buy, let's buy them. Okay, so where was our thing? Our thing's over here. Try to get over to that, and that way we can grab our first bounty in tier three. I think it's going to be a little... They're going to be a hot commodity here in a minute, if they haven't already. To a certain degree, they kind of already are. There are a few teams looking for them, but... I want to make sure we can at least get one. See how we do against it. I'm wondering if it'll be a mega, mega abomination. It's definitely not guaranteed, and I've definitely had more non-Mega Abomination Tier 3 contracts lately for the bounties than um than I have altogether. Like, it's very, very rare, previous to maybe the Season 2 Reloaded update, that I would get one that wasn't a Mega Bomb. Like, maybe one in every ten, like 10% of them or something. But I to, to be honest, I kind of feel like it was intended for them to make most of them, you know, Mega Bombs on purpose. Part of the... Part of the tier three zone. All right, we're able to cook here. Got 
gotta get it back. Speed it, speed it up, speed it up. These guys move quick. Cool thing is you can reload and play it at the same time. Oh, Mimic. We are not prepared for that. He's gonna definitely damage us. Oh, our second Mimic. Oh, we are getting messed up here because we don't have any plates. All right, we're gonna cook him now. Bye bye. Any plates on the ground? Any at all? I'm not seeing any. Got ammo. Yeah, I got some plates right here. Not a lot of them, but at least a few. Oh, hello. All right, let me grab this. Can I grab the contract? Is that available? You guys, you guys gate gatekeeping it for some other team? Come on, zombies. I didn't know you would like that. Just trying to do the content, man. All right, let me go ahead and run. Run down there and see if we can make it happen. We did get, we got a disciple. That's a little scary, actually. That is a little bit scary. Uh, I'm kind of tempted. Where's a buy station? There is no close buy stations. I was gonna say, I need to get some plates. All right, wait for all the enemies to come up the stairs. This maybe we can get plates this way. Definitely get some ammo. All right, where's the enemies? I'm kind of surprised. Like, what? I know there was more zombies chasing us than that. Oh, they're coming. Holy. They just hadn't hit the top of the stairs yet. I don't know what they're doing. They're getting, like, caught on something. As soon as I went to the stairs, there was a bunch there. Come on, hook us up. We're just we're just looking for a grip of plates that we can hold on to while we fight this disciple buddy that we're going to be fighting here in a sec. All right, we'll play it up. All right, let's see if we can make this happen. I only have one decoy, which is a little lame. Start out by throwing the decoy, and then see if we can cook. Oh, there's double, double disciples. Oh, that's horrible. This is not ideal for what we were trying to accomplish here. Oh my God, these zombies are strong. Not even able to hit homie in a crit spot. It's kind of nuts. I'm gonna throw that down in case there's any more zombies. All right, he left for a second. Oh, don't run. The fake out. Are we even doing damage? I can't even tell. Let me get around this corner. That is a strong crawler. Okay, once we actually get cooking, we're good. Dude, this is nuts. Look, we are sitting here sh just shooting this dude in the head. We we're gonna run out of ammo. I actually did not think that was gonna be a possibility. I guess uh, I also didn't predict we would... Oh, it's making me reload. Oh, that's gonna be helpful. This is crazy. Wait, we are not cooking this guy. I'm gonna be honest. Granted, we have the, I think it's the napalm burst that's really setting us back here from being completely fair to the weapon. The napalm burst is not strong against disciples and yeah. If we had a dead wire, who knows? Trying to break his hand. This, I don't know if we could do this. Trying so hard. Come on! His health's going down so freaking slow. And we're we're giving so much health back too. We're out. We're out of ammo. Um, where's my closest ammo supply? It's gonna be over there. I'm gonna have to hit that and come back. Hopefully he doesn't get too much health back. That's ridiculous. So tanky. Partially po po probably because of the weapon. The other part probably because we're using the napalm burst and not a a dead wire. If you don't think it makes a huge difference, I promise you it does. Oh, he's behind me. He's back. Oh, he's getting so much health back. No. I forgot to throw this. If 
beard. We're spamming. Oh, we got it. I don't have any plates. I don't have any plates. Oh, I don't know how the hell we did it, but we got it. Oh, I got a free jug and a speed cola. That's crazy. Zombie, drop me a plate. All right. Well, we at least achieved the bounty. That was ridiculously slow. I, I do want to go real quick before we think about legendary. We got plenty of time. I'm going to go take on a mega abomination. Maybe I'll go do the one over here since we're closest. And I can go hit... Maybe I can go hit a thing for some plates, too. Well, I guess that kind of answered our question about the Stormcaller, though, doing that Disciple, because if it's anything like that, even with Legendary, is, without the, the dead wire, there's no way. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, he dis disintegrated. I don't know what's going on with that. It's happened to me multiple times recently. But another one should pop up here in a second. I think, obviously, once we pack a bunch three Legendary with this weapon... And we hit maximum fire rate. It's probably going to be insane. Because it definitely seems to go crazy at the fastest fire rate. But it definitely seems to struggle a little bit previous to that. Oh, the tier 2 zombies want the smoke. They felt left out. Come on. We're here fighting tier 3 zombies. Waiting for our buddy the Mega Bomb to show up. He was just here. He got scared and exploded. Anytime he wants to show back up, I'm ready. Got full ammo. There's that weird glitch. Now we have 700. There's a group of little zombies. They're like, yo, we heard you want to fight. Oh, it's a disciple. Everything wants to fight. Except for what I really want to fight. We want a mega bomb. Yeah, we're not cooking this guy. I think it I think it is the I think the dead wire really does make that big difference. I don't think the weapons. The best gun in the game. I mean, obviously, we're not using Legendary Pack 3 fully juiced, like I was saying. We're not doing the uh, maximum fire rate or anything like that yet. So we can't really tell. All right, Mega Bomb, anytime, buddy. Anytime. All right, for some reason, that Mega Bomb wasn't spawning in, so we're driving to, to the other side to Old Reliable. I feel like Old Reliable will spawn in. He's usually over here. Unless it gets too late in the match, then some reason it seems... Like, it's more RNG and doesn't really spawn every time. But Old Reliable should be over here. Yep, there he is. Hey, yo, Old Reliable. Good to see you, brother. We're here. But we want to fight. Oh, I need plates. I forgot I got hit. I got hit as soon as I got in the vehicle. <laughs> the freaking hellhounds got punished for going down the backside there. What in the hell? a crazy amount of zombies. Come on. Should drop lots of ammo, though, and plates and goodies. If I can hold them, I'm picking them up. Our friend the Mega Bomb is there. I don't know where this Tier 3 zombie got behind me from. Kind of feel like that's a scam, is what it is. Oh, 666. Six, six. We don't want that many. But a bad number. All right, Mega Bomb is alive, and I think we cleared most of the area for the moment. This glassless optic, the Jack Glassless. I know we didn't do a video on just this, but it's a great attachment. If you guys aren't using this for your optic, you can 100% count on your missing out, because especially for certain weapons that have higher recoil, I've definitely liked it quite a bit. Is he stuck in place? I think he's stuck in place. Nope, he's not second place. You're cooking him. Oh, he's gonna do his thing. Yep. All right, let me time for me to go this way for a second, maybe. And then psych him out and then go this way, maybe. Okay, start getting it, getting it going. Get that fire fire rate up. We're just shooting. I've never even just bothered just shooting like that because it doesn't usually work and it's not. It's kind of like I expected. It is not actually working. Oh. Yeah, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, we got him. 
We didn't run out of ammo either. Let's go. Oh, we got a free pack two crystal, a brain rot. That actually kind of worked out. Symbol monkey, aka freaking monkey bomb. Why can't they call it a monkey bomb? That's just too hard to do. That's just too difficult. I feel like it is. All right, we definitely used a lot of ammo here. Let's go legendary. Let's go legendary and see how much of a change we get. Um, I probably had more ammo drops down there. Let me go this way. We could grab this. Oh, I was going to say, we could grab this, see if it's a mega bomb. Hopefully it is. We are legendary now, might as well, right? Because if it's a mega bomb, that's what we were going to fight anyways. Boom. Got to grab this first try. Almost didn't get it. It's a scary little area sometimes, I promise. All right, is our... Yeah, it's over here. So we need the ammo. I'm going to hit the ammo cache down here real quick, and then I'm going to head over to the bounty. We got a Mimic. See, like I said, increased amount of non-Mega Bombs. But we should still have time to get this guy and a Mega Bomb if we do it right. Actually, we may not have time for that just based on the storm, but we're going to try. Storm is very close to us here in the Tier 3 zone. I did not realize it was in the Tier 3 zone again. I, I did earlier, and then somehow I forgot about it on the way here. Well, let's see if we can at least take this guy out now that we're juiced fully the max in a reasonable time. We can head over to the one side of the map. Yep, we can head over to the side that's close to the coast, Exfil. Maybe we'll have time to eliminate a mega bomb. These hellhounds are persistent, I tell you. Okay. You're here to collect the bounty. It's a mimic. I don't know where this mimic is. I feel like I want to get up on this roof. Is there a way on this roof? Did I miss it? There is a ton of zombies on me, like an unreasonable amount. Bro, holy crap. Okay, there we go. Uh, should be able to get some plates at least. My god. Problem is I can't get any I can't get to where the plates are. Oh my god, because I got so many zombies they're juiced up by the disciple. This is like the worst case scenario. Actually I might be able to get, to get there now. There are zero plates though. Oh there's one plate. One plate's better than none. Full send the contract. Oh, that destroyed the disciple. Holy. Yeah, look at this. Once it gets full speed, it's crazy. But it is a little hectic previous to that. I'll put that in my bag for now. All right. We made it. We made it through that. That was kind of nuts. Get a few plates on the off the ground here, hopefully. All right. I'm going to head to this spot again and see if we can't get one more, one more mega bomb before the end of the match. I mean, the, the storm is about to start expanding, so we're going to have to torch it if we're going to do it. There is one right here, but this is not the area I want to be in because I do not have the plates for this. And there's going to be way too many hellhounds. So we're going to run to the spot I pointed out and see what happens. All right, we got our mega bomb in the spot we want, but we have chaos, literal chaos behind us. All right, I'm going to jump up here. That's how we're going to counter this chaos. Uh, wait, I can fly across the bridge. Holy smokes. That, sh that, that stuff's crazy. How is this? Holy smokes. Oh, we destroyed his face instantly. Dude, these zombies are 
out of control. All right, we're cooking now. We are cooking now. Come on, get, get stuck. Oh no, he's gonna go the other way. Not gonna get stuck? What am I talking about? Alright, we should be able to cook. Go, perfect time. Let's go. That worked out nicely. What a chaotic little match we had here. All right, I need to head over to the Xville before we get stuck going to final. Because personally, I hate waiting like 10 minutes to go to final when you miss all the Xvilles. So we're going to head over to there. I think this was a successful run. This thing with the mags of holding is a lot of, a lot of fun to use. I think the big thing here is that once it gets going, it cooks. So somewhere like the Dark Aether, maybe the Tier 4 one might be pretty solid to use. But I think when it comes to like the Tier 5... Movement might become an issue with it, despite it actually having, you know, a decent, decent bit of power behind it. So, yeah, like I said, we're going to head over to Xville here, but overall, a very successful run. All right, we made it over here to the Xville. I think we had a fairly successful run. I wish we had a little bit more time because after seeing how well this thing performed Legendary Pack 3, it would have been fun to try the Challenge of Stormcaller, although I don't think we would have been overall that successful. But that's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.